Now I would like to introduce a new instrument in the show tonight. It's called the guero. Mikey, can you introduce the guero? No, I think you need to hear it though. Mikey, you may not know. It's it seems uh, it seems simple, but it's it takes a master to play the guero. And um, we sent. I mean, it seems like a cheap kind of production, I know, but it cost a fortune because we had to send Michel to Peru, is where <laughs> the guero is born. And she 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 took a plane and she climbed on top of this mountain into this lonely hut where a monk. I don't know what a Buddhist monk is doing in Peru, but anyway. <laughs> so he's there, and for 40 years, he's dedicated his life to this one instrument, the cuero. And apparently he hasn't talked for 40 years, he's just been perfecting. He can say any word in any language, just using subtle differences in the way he plays the cuero. And so Mikey was studying under him, and, and he could say anything. He, he would say, uh, Girl, can you bring me a glass of water? So he would say, a master. <laughs> and, and if you would want to say, um, beware, there is a tiger behind you, he would say, <laughs> see that? Subtle, subtle differences. <laughs> but to the trained ear, it's a whole different sentence. And she was studying, and she became better and better. And um, then one day, she woke up, and she started her lesson. And the Buddhist monk turned around and said, Girl, can you bring me a glass of water? And she turned around and poured some water. And when she turned back around, there was a tiger eating his head, chewing it. And he was dead. And that was the end of the only Guero master. So, one needs not only to know his own language, but one needs to speak the language of others. And so Mikey will now play the guero in memory of that Buddhist imaginary monk. <laughs> A bow of silence. Okay.